Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to build a simple online course with Memberium without using any type of LMS plugin, and we'll also show you what that looks like. If you want to build a simple online course or a simple membership site without using any LMS plugin, this video will show you how to do that. Also, if you're wondering what a simple online course can look like with Memberium, we'll show you that uh, throughout this video. So throughout this video, we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily create your individual lesson pages. We'll then show you how to create a simple course page that has all your lessons linked together. Then at the end here, we'll show you how to create a simple course directory page that lists all of your courses and can serve as your course dashboard or your home page that lists all of your courses uh, that are included in your site. This page uses our pre-built Elementor templates. Any new Memberium customers can have these installed for free on their site. You're welcome to use any WordPress theme or page builder plugin that you prefer to use. For this example, we'll show you how you can create the same type of course page on your site, along with how easy it is to do. Within the course, there's individual lessons. Here's a look at the lesson template that we give you. You can easily clone this page to create multiple lessons within a course, and then you're basically just embedding your Vimeo code to the page. Uh, you can easily link to the next and previous lessons if you'd like to. And also, if you have any relevant lesson files, we'll show you how you can also easily attach those as well. At the end of the video, we'll show you how to create a course grid a dashboard page that lists all of the courses that you have within your site. We'll show you how you can link them all together, uh, like this example here. Uh, the page is responsive. You can also have it display your locked courses. For example, if a member doesn't have access to a specific course, let's say if they haven't purchased it yet, you could display it as being locked. And then if they try to click into it, you can send them to a sales page or information about how they could purchase that course if they don't have access to it. Or if you're selling the type of program where somebody gets access to all of the courses, you can have all of the courses be open and listed like this on this example here. One of the reasons why we're covering this is a lot of times people have a hard time visualizing what a simple online course looks like. By a simple online course, I mean a simple course that doesn't use any type of LMS like LearnDash or Lifter LMS. A lot of it will depend on the theme that you're using or other plugins that you're choosing to build your site with. These are a few of the reasons why we came out with these page templates which now make it a lot easier to build a simple online course like the one we had just shown you. And it allows you to build one a lot faster. Diving into it, the foundation of a course is individual lessons. We're gonna show you how you can easily create your own lesson pages with our lesson page template here. Any new Memberium customers can get our Elementor templates installed on their WordPress site. Once you have these templates installed on your site, there's about 30 pages in total you're going to want to search for the template called Individual Lesson Template. And once you find that one, you're going to want to clone that template page. In order for you to be able to clone pages, you can use a plugin called Duplicate Post, or there's other cloning plugins that will allow you to easily clone pages. This allows you to quickly create lessons using the same template. Assuming you already have all the content planned out for your course, Basically, you're just going to clone the page, and then you're going to embed your video on each of the individual pages. Uh, so here, I'm just going to clone this page as an example. Once it's cloned, I'm going to go to Edit with Elementor. Here's the lesson page. To edit a element, you can click on the blue icon. You can see there, then you just embed your Vimeo URL, or if you're using a different uh, type of video service, you can fill in those details there. Uh, the lesson will automatically pull in your page name or the title that you'll give the page. Uh, and in addition to that, it will automatically pull the author's name uh, under the title there. If you want to, you can include a quick description uh, below the lesson. Uh, additionally, if you want to add any other custom content to a lesson, you can do so easily with Elementor's uh, widgets. If you don't want the description, you could delete that. Uh, also with the lesson files, if you don't have any lesson files, you could delete those. Or if you do have any resources that you want to link to it, 
you can do so easily by adding the link to download the file there. Um, you could customize this as you see fit. If you want to add next or previous links here, obviously if I've created the first lesson, I'll have to create the other lessons to link to the next one. The cool thing is you can just type in the text and it will show you the pages uh, that you've created already. And then without having to copy the URL, you can just select the next page uh, that you want to link to. I guess with the previous link, since this is the first lesson, you'd link back to the individual course page. You can do that, and then they can they can easily progress through all the lessons in a course uh, quickly by using these next and previous buttons. Once you've finished your first lesson, it's just a matter of repeating the same process over and over again. So you'll basically just clone the page a bunch of times, add the videos to each of the pages, uh, make sure they're published, and then we'll move on to the next step, which is creating your individual course page. Here's a look at the course page that we're going to show you how to create here. You can see there's this menu here. This is a WordPress menu that links all the lesson pages that we just created together. This makes it easy to link everything together. Uh, we'll show you how to set that up here. And you can also edit any of these other details in Elementor uh, that we'll go over here shortly. So diving into the menu, here we're going to show you how to quickly create a menu like this. So inside of your WordPress site, you're going to go to the menus area. And inside of WordPress, you can create multiple menus to be used throughout your WordPress site. You're going to go to create a new menu, give your menu a name. Ideally, it should be the course name. And then click create menu. Here, I've already gone ahead and created one. Basically, you're just going to select all the lessons that we just created in the previous step. You add them to the menu in the order that you want them to appear. The lessons listed at the top will appear as being first in the course. And then once you have it saved, you'll click Save Menu. To create our course page, we're going to go back to the pages, and we're going to search for a template called Individual Course Template. This template is included with the bundle of Elementor templates that we give you as a new Memberium customer, or I should say if you request uh, the new templates to be installed on your site, and clone this page. Once it's cloned, you're going to go ahead and give it the course title that you want it to have. You can change the URL permalink, give it a membership level so the course is protected, so whatever online course that it's in, uh, you can select the membership level that you want to give it. Here's a look at the course page template. With Elementor, you can edit any of these details. If you want to add your own course image, uh, you can do that. Uh, with this area, this is controlled by the WordPress menu. Here, it kind of loads the dummy menu that we had. But you would select the menu that you had just created. And then it automatically loads the links to all of the lessons that you want to include in this course. Uh, you could note here there's the sidebar called Memberium Course Listing Sidebar Area. If you're using our Astro theme, you'll have a widget area inside of your WordPress site where you can add widgets to add whatever content uh, that you'd like to add. And to get to widgets, you're going to go to Appearance Widgets. And you can see here there's this Memberium Course Listing Sidebar Area. And in this area, I have the About Teacher box or the About Your Teacher box, and you could customize this text. Um, or if you'd like to include other widgets uh, in this area, uh, you're welcome to do so. If you'd like to change any of the colors or styling of this page, uh, you can do so easily with Elementor's editor. That allows you to change or add anything as you see fit. If you want to create multiple courses like this, you would go back and clone the page and repeat the process where you create a specific menu for the course with the lessons added to it. And then you could change whatever details that you want uh, with the Elementor editor. Lastly, if you want to create a course grid that lists all of the courses that are within your site, uh, you can do so easily with the short codes that we give you that allow you to build a page just like this one. Uh, so as I mentioned, there's quite a few templates that we give you. Uh, if you request the templates to be installed on your site, there's a template called Course Grid uh, with Ghost Block Demo for no LMS included in the pages. When we go to edit this page, we could see there's the different courses listed here. 
and each course is listed in a block. Within these blocks, our custom shortcodes are added. This has a link leading to the course page that you've created, the image for the course, along with the course's name. Uh, so to edit this information, you can see there is the shortcode, and within it there is the membership level name, or for instance, the membership level that gets access to the course, uh, the link that leads to the course, along with a URL to the image that you want to feature for the course. Uh, there is the title, and then no description will appear. And that's basically how it works. Uh, to change the details for the other courses, you just go ahead and repeat the process. Let's say if I wanted to add multiple courses, I could duplicate this section, uh, add another one, you can see duplicate it there, and then it's just a matter of filling in the details for each of the courses. Uh, it's very easy. If you need any help as you're going through this, Membrium support is always available to help you out. Also, if you'd prefer to list your courses this way, where they're listed horizontally, we have other shortcodes called our course list shortcodes that allow you to do this. That uh, works the same way. And also, if you'd be interested in finding out more information about how these specific shortcodes work, there's this blog post on our site that you can check out. In this video, we showed you how you can quickly and easily create individual lesson pages, how you can create a good looking course page that links to all of your course lessons, and also how you can create a simple course directory with our course grid shortcodes uh, that will list all of your courses. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna check out more short videos like the one you just watched, I'd like to invite you to check out our live demo membership site that's built with Memberium. Inside of this demo site, there's six short video courses that will show you how Memberium works and show you how you can use it to easily build your membership site or online course. You'll also be able to see what a membership site that's built with Memberium and what that looks like. You'll be able to find out how you can build your membership site more quickly with our pre-built templates. You'll be able to get answers to some of the most common questions that people have about Memberium and much more. To check it out and see for yourself, click the link in this post or below this video to get started.